Hey, uh, the performers asked me to come see them here. I helped them out with something up in Van Horn. All right, I'll let them know you're in. Curtain's just about to come up, so why don't you take a seat, then come back and see me after the show. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. I am your host, Aldridge T. Abington. Thank you. Yes, Aldridge T. Abington. Few men have had a career more crowded with incident and various intercourse with the world than I. During extensive travel through this and foreign lands, I have procured a show so fantastical there exists Nothing like it. Anywhere. In an effort to bring this entertainment to even the poorest dreamer of dreams, I have determined the ticket price should be very low and the show held without a profit. To me, it's true. For it is blessing enough to bring these gifted artists to you. I met these odd fellows in a tavern in some godforsaken place, entertaining cretins. They are quite a capricious bunch, presenting Miss Marjorie and her medical miracles. I'm a master of apparition! Oh my god! And dissipation! 
and even the art of <laughs> transfiguration. <laughs> Oof. I have mastered hypnosis, telekinesis, telepathy, and escapology. And now, for my next feat, I will relieve Miss Marjorie of her for this Robio! Doing a nasty little pervert? What? Damn it! We were gonna give them a show! You're not like that, you're not! I give up! Amateurs! <laughs> Giants, curious things. They are a delight and can make you money. So, before you snuff out that oddly... Bring them to me! I discovered this next act in a tiny village. Truly the most exotic of places in the world. He was just a ten-year-old boy. I raised him <laughs> Quite something. Yeah, I gotta go deal with this. Oh, there's something here for you. Oh, good luck. These novelty acts. Don't get this with dancing girls. <laughs> 